guys, and welcome to Sam Skills. In the next few episodes, we're going to be building rocket ships. That's right, I said rocket ships. Rocket ships that can actually fly in the sky. And we're not just going to be making one rocket ship. We're going to be making two rocket ships. The first one is going to be experimental. Just so I can get the idea of how rocket ships work. And so I can make sure that the second one works better than the first one. Because the second one, I don't want anything to go wrong. But no one's saying that that's not going to happen. But to launch rockets, you need to make a launch controller. You can't launch a rocket ship without a launch controller for the rocket ship. So, today's episode is going to be about how I made the rocket ship controller. Let's do it. So there's a few different ways you can make a rocket ship launch controller. The first way, it can be boring and it can just be one button that you push and it launches. But I don't want to be boring. I have to take it to the next level. Let's do it. Okay, here's my plan. First, we have the switch. You push the switch, which then sends power to this key. You put the key in, you twist it, which then sends power to the button, so that when we push the button, it launches the rocket. Okay, so this is the engine. The engine is what pushes the rocket upwards. The engine works kind of like a firework. With a firework, you take a lighter and you light the fuse. When you light the fuse, it lights whatever's inside of the firework and it makes it go up. Well, this is the same way, but with this, you don't want to be super close to it because it can go wrong. So what you do is they give you this. And this makes it start electrically. When you put an electric current through this, it heats it up, which then sparks the engine and makes it fly. So what we need to do is make the launch controller for it. And so once you use this, you cannot use it again. So you have to make it so that you can easily take this off and put another one on. So I have these crimpers here, or not crimpers, these uh, alligator clips. So when you clip it, you can easily put it on and take it off. Okay, so I've decided that if I showed you guys every single step by step of how I made the con this controller, the video would take way too long and it would be pretty boring. So I've decided to just explain to y'all how it works. So first we have the body, which is the gray piece that I 3D printed on my 3D printer. And then I spray painted it to make it look gray. And then I, so, and all it does is just keep everything together and protected. And then, so that's it for that. Now we have our switches. So the first one we have is this red switch. You flip it and it sends electricity to the key switch. And the key switch makes it so that you have to have this red key to turn it on. So you put the key in and you twist it. And that sends electricity to the button. And what the button does is when I put, and then as long as everything else, everything's on, when I push this, the button, it launches. So I have this red cover over it to make sure that I don't accidentally hit the button. And so, yeah, when I push the button, it launches the rocket. And, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to turn it over and show you guys how it look what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to snap my fingers to take the top part off. All right. So the box so as soon as I take the lid off, you can see that there's this green box right here. And all this is is the battery pack which powers everything. So I'm just going to set this down. And as you can see, we have a bunch of wires and stuff and it looks pretty complicated, but it's really not. Uh it's really easy and if you want to make one, you can easily make one yourself. Um, we have the this switch right here, which is just the normal switch. And then we have the key switch right here and the button switch. So it's really not that complicated. And if I really do recommend that you make your own if you're into making rocket ships and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to put it back together. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. This thing is really cool. And I really do recommend that if you're, in, if you're into model rockets, or if you want to get into model rockets, that you make your own controller. It's really easy and it's a lot of fun. Um, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can see my next video, which will be me making a actual rocket ship that can fly. And, um, so yeah, uh, again, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. So you may have noticed this. This is my new com this is my old computer, actually, and I have it put on a TV, and I have it mounted up there, so I can do cool things with it, like if I need to know something or research something real quick, I can just use my computer to do it out here, so I'm really excited about it, and I'll be doing some cool stuff with it, so yeah. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.